Hey guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to another video, uh, reaction and review, and this is to the second episode of Initial D, uh, Stage 2, which is Team Emperor, Team Emperor on uh, Kina. And I don't know what happens in this episode, so let's jump in and see what happens. Because I know they're supposed to upgrade or put a turbocharger on or do upgrade the H6. So let's jump in and see what happens. Let us begin. Let's start with the 3, 2, 1, click. Wait, sorry. Starting with 3, 2, 1, click. I need to oil oh, warn him on that a little bit. Wave Mountain plays a play, Tim B. Let's go! That particular, honestly, that particular lore, uh, this opening segment where they're driving on this road and it looks kind of stony, it's interesting because it kind of looks like something you would see from a horror game, from a horror, horror game because of the way that the road looks like an old stony road, and then you have like, uh, like the weeds going along the side of it, it honestly looks like something you would have seen in like a place in a place in a PS1 game from back in the night late 90s. It looks cool though. It looks nostalgic. I also like the camera falling over effect at the end of it. It looks really cool. But yeah, look at this how this is animated. It looks like something you would have seen from a PS1 game. I don't know. It, 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 make, it makes me think of Silent Hill. I'm sorry, every time I see Monster, I cannot help but think of Monster Energy because we're the, that's just such a big thing today. I've also noticed two different kinds of shoes that looks like they're wearing. One looks like he's kind of wearing loafers, more of a dress shoe, and the other looks like more like kind of sneakers. ランエボチームが妙義さんに乗り込んだらしい。今情報が入った。ナイトキッズ中里との待ちですか。多分な。どうなると思う、兄貴。俺は今回に限っては中里が勝つことを祈るぜ。あのランエボの下品なウィングは
俺が止めずに誰があいつらを止められる I'm kind of wondering, does it matter、uh, the kind of shoe that you wear? <sighs> oh no, that car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> オレのエボフォーのウィングが半分に切り裂いた群馬エリアのステッカーで埋め尽くされるのも、もうじきだ。てめえら、まあやがってんじゃねえぞ。まだまだ群馬には早いやつはいっぱいいるんだ。負けた
しびれたらしびれるなんてもんじゃないぶっ飛んだよよくこんなもんが手に入ったなこれが八六に乗ると思うとゾクゾクするな俺もだ久々に血が騒ぐ<笑>匠にはもったいないぐらいの白物だろでいつ乗せ替えるんだ<笑>さてねエンジン変えてそれで終わりってわけじゃないからな。あちこち補給をして、足回りもいじることになるだろう。足さえ決まりゃ、これはすごい車になるぜ。俺が自分でテストして、ベストなセッティングを出す。その時は頼むぞ、まさし。いいけどさ、しつこいからな、文太は。絶対妥協しねえからな。<笑>昔を思い出すな。だがな。タクミがあの車でやり残したことがまだ一つあるんだ。Okay. あなんだいそりゃ。うん。まあな。もったいぶらないで教えてくれよ。教えてやってもいいけど、絶対タクミには喋らないって約束するか。Okay. 言わねってそんなこと。じゃあ教えるよ。その条件ってのは。負けることだどういうことだよ匠はせっかくここまで誰にも負けないで来てるのにそこが気に食わないんだよ勝ち続けているうちはパワーを上げることの本当のありがたみがわからない、はい、今の戦闘力でマシンをとことんギリギリまで追い込んで最後の一滴まで絞り尽くしてそれでも勝てない悔しさを感じて初めてわかることがある<笑>あいつが負けるまで86をいじるわけにはいかないんだ、oh, okay. I get it. I get it. イニシャル D He wants him to appreciate the upgrade And not feel like everything is, very, is easy for him. I get it. I get it. この調子だとサイドパネルはすぐにスペースがなくなるな。ゲームだと思えばそこそこ楽しめるんだけどな。そろそろ手応えのあるやつとやりてえもんだぜ。次の標的はどこだ、今日一。明日の夜一番にアキナに乗り込むぞ。あ？アキナの八六か。つまんねえよ。俺がやってもいいぞ、セジ。え？今日一さんが？なんでわざわざ？わかんねえよ。最終的な標的は赤城レッドサンズ。高橋涼介だ。だがその前にアキナの八六を仕留める。<笑>昨日下見をしてきたが、勾配が結構きついコースだしな。軽いエボスリーの方が楽だろうちょ冗談だろう俺にやらせてくれよ今日一どんなコースだろうとこの俺が負けるわけがねえだろう俺のエボ4で勝てない車があるとしたらそれはたった一台だけ今日一お前のエボスリーだけさあれたかが86相手にエンペラーのエースが出ることはないぜ俺がやる月がベンツの紳士と援助交際していることを知ってますか So it comes out. Someone told me this in the comments. Get out of there! Oh, oh. What's that? Oh? No, it's not. I'm wondering if it was her that wrote it. なあ匠俺がちょっと前に買ったエボフォーの特集が載ってんのがあんだけどさ。どんな歌いいいランエボとバトルになるかもしんねえだろいいよ、俺。なんで絶対参考になると思うけどな。そういうの読んでも
知識をどうやって役に立てればいいのか俺は分かんないよああどうすれば八六を早く走らせられるか俺が考えることはそれだけどんな車が相手でも同じだよ、うん、お前さもうちょっとエンジンにパワーがあればとか考えたことはないのかうんないなうわっマジかよ俺なんかパワー欲しくてしょうがねえのによ I really have to, I really admire the sound effects, how whenever a car is on the left side of the screen, you can hear it in the left speaker, and as it moves, you can hear it. I love it. I'm wondering. Why are you moving as if you're a worm? Why do you have to follow the, each other's line and do driving the same path? It makes the rest of them look like little lap dogs for the first one. Alright, let's やっぱりこの間アキナ湖で会ったやつだスピードスターズだな俺がエンペラーチームリーダーの須藤だ事前に連絡が行ってる友がこっちの要求は一つアキナの八六と下りでやりたいそれだけだそっちの要求はどんな
マイツバじゃねえ。リョウスケを任すだけの何かを持ってるんだ。それが何かわかるまでは気が抜けねえ。俺がカウントをやる。いや、カウントはいらない。な俺はタイムトライアルじゃなくてバトルだからな。エンジンのパワーの低い方が好きなタイミングでスタートを切るんだ。もう一台はそれに合わせてダッシュする。当然出遅れるが。それが馬力のハンデってことになる。俺たちはこれをハンディキャップ方式って呼んでいるが、それでどうだ。タクミがいいなら、それでいいぜ。こいつとは確か、アキナ湖のそばで一度会ってる。こんな若いガキが、アキナの八六のドライバーとは、考えてもみなかったぜ。敵地でのバトルで勝つために今日一が作った作戦パターンは3つある相手が最も手強い時にだけ使うのがシミュレーション3だなぜ86相手にシミュレーション3なんだ俺にはわかんねえ<笑> You're the... I can tell you are the... 匠が飛び出すぞ行け匠I can tell you're not the brains of the outfit, the other guy is. Misetel, Ebofono Sosajanak, Oreno Sosauna. What I'm going to think that he's going to lose just to get so that he'll get the upgrade. Oh, that's okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. So I completely understand what Bunta was talking about. <clears throat> he said that he did not want Takumi to end up. He said that he did not want Takumi to end up getting the upgrade on the car until after he lost a race, and that Takumi had yet to experience. Losing a race, and I completely understand what he's talking about because every racer at some point ends up suffering a defeat, even Ryosuke did.、Um, but he wants he wants Sakumi to develop to and come to appreciate the idea of appreciating. The upgrade for his car and what it can do. And I completely understand that. It's similar to basically not having everything handed, on, handed to you on a silver platter. That's exactly the concept. See the preview. Takumi and Seiji's battle has begun. Eight six players in simulation three are going to the end. Seiji has understood. Next time, initial in second stage. Five-four of your combination. Don't miss it. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so first off, the epi next episode is titled "Premonition of Defeat," and. So that is literally saying that Takumi is going to lose. That's li literally saying that Takumi is going to lose because it's premonition of defeat, saying he's going to lose. Now, first off, Bunta doesn't want Takumi to get the upgrade off, right off the bat because he wants Takumi to kind of earn the upgrade. It's like he doesn't want Takumi to feel like he's handing, getting everything handed to him on a silver platter, and he doesn't want Takumi to constantly. 
to constantly be, I guess, feeling like he's going to win no matter what. And he, he doesn't want Takumi to develop the, the idea of being able, like this guy here, and the Evo, uh, to have the mentality that he can win no matter what. And he wants Takumi to, um, to be able to experience both the win and the loss. He wants Takumi to be able to experience the loss so that Takumi will feel that humiliation of the loss and that defeat and will more appreciate the upgrade to help him. And I can completely understand that because if he did not experience the defeat and then ended up winning, I mean, and then got the upgrade, it would, it would be a continuous streak. But I think every single racer pretty much has experienced that, you know, like, and, and, and not just in racing, but, you know, if you're knocked down from something, it, it sometimes will make you want to push yourself harder, to, to do better, to get better, <clears throat> so that you can overcome that. And that's pretty much what happens with different things in real life. You'll experience speed bumps, potholes, and uh, a rough road. You'll experience ter terrain that will challenge you with different things that you do in life. And, you know, you can either turn away and back down and turn away from it and not go any further. Or you can try to overcome it. And, I mean, it's a challenge that is put there for you. But it how whether or not you choose to go over that challenge, I guess, can dictate how much how, how much passion how much desire you have to, to strive for what you want to do and Takumi is still laid back about it but he's getting more and more mentally and emotionally involved in racing you can see it he's more interested in it and he's more aware of the concept now of not wanting to lose it's more becoming more of a thing in 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 his psyche and I understand completely what Bunta is saying. Takumi needs to experience that loss because it, it it's kind of like it's kind of tough love, you know. You don't want someone he doesn't want Takumi to feel like everything is handed to him on silver platter. He wants him to have to, you know, to experience that and learn from that mistake, you know, to be able to better himself and advance forward. And I completely understand what Bunta is, is is talking about, and that he's he doesn't want to upgrade the car until Takumi loses, and he knows at some point he will because of the basic modifications, even with the powerful modifications that he's made to, that Bunta has made to the A6. At some point, Takumi will lose, and I can completely understand that. And so here he wants Takumi to kind of have to earn the engine, um, and Takumi doesn't really know how he can make the engine faster right now but it's very interesting that here this guy is they challenge Akina uh, they they challenge the speed stars very quickly because they want to take on the A6 and the other guy with the bandana I forgot his name makes a remark for the guy driving the white Evo 4 to um, use simulation 3 which is the toughest form uh, of uh, basic, uh, uh, kind of a tough form of aggressive driving to handle the toughest opponents. And it, it's interesting because between these two guys you can tell this guy with the black hair, with the ponytail, he's more not exactly thinking. The other guy he is more thinking about statistics. He's more of the analyst of the two. He's more of the brains. He analyzes the situation and tries to determine what, what would be best. And I like that. I do. <clears throat> he might be an antagonist, but I do have to admire his planning, and uh, you know what what he does in his head to be able to you know mentally to mentally prepare. And immediately he sensed a very strong presence about this car, about the H6, and about Takumi. Uh, he sensed that and could tell that this was not an opponent that they had faced before. There was something different about this one. So he wanted him to, however, just go ahead and up the ante and start with the toughest driving form uh, to take this drive, to take Takumi on. And naturally, the second part of the race is going to be the next episode. And I surmise that Takumi is going to lose. 
Now, another thing to point out is the speed stars. I made the mention that they've kind of been relying on Tsukumi too much. Yeah, we haven't really seen very much racing of them, but um, I surmise that they will get the crap beat out of them. However, I do believe it's better to win with your dignity, I mean, to lose with dignity, than to lose without it, you know. Uh, so, you know, better to go down with, better to go down with a fight, better to go down in a blaze of glory than to lose pitifully, you know. Um, so even if the other guys could actually stay, even, even if they could actually keep up with the guy or pass him, and then during the last half mile, their opponent, you know, the opponent of the Speed Stars passed them, hey, at least, you know, credibly, at least they made it that far. And an interesting thing is now we have an interesting side story coming into play where where Takumi get, receives a, a notice in his locker that explains that that Mogi now has, I mean, that she is dating a guy in a Mercedes for his money. And someone told me this in the comments before, uh, that she had a sugar daddy, and that that was what was going on. Someone told me that. And so, I did read, I think, on the wiki, that she did, that she does leave that guy. Uh, <clears throat> that, <clears throat> that she does leave that guy uh, later on. But I'm curious as to how it's going to play out. That was probably in the manga. I'm curious as to how it's going to play out here in the show, and the in the anime, but um, I'm not certain if it was Mogi that put that put that note in his locker, so that she could kind of come out with that secret. Maybe she's feeling some guilt about it, and so <clears throat> she wants to come clean, but she wanted to do that first, um, or if it was someone else who maybe doesn't want them to hook up and so they're trying to you know break break them apart I don't know um, I kinda would like to believe that maybe that's her way of trying to tell him because she feels guilty and she wants to come out with it uh, you know but I don't really know if that's if that's actually the case but um, mentally I think it may affect Takumi I think it may possibly it could possibly have an effect on his driving and that could, I'm not saying it will, but it could have a part of, uh, it could possibly affect his driving a little, so, um, and help contribute to him losing later on. I don't really know for certain, but it's a theory. But, um, we shall just have to wait and see what develops in the next episode, which is, oh, and premonition for defeat. That means Takumi is going to suffer his first defeat. And so, yeah, we're going to get to see that probably in the next episode, but, or it could be an episode or two later on, I don't know, but, um, maybe half of this, maybe half of this stage is the, the speed star slowly losing, and then in the middle of the, of it, they lose completely, and then the second half, the last half, is them coming back with a vengeance, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, thanks again for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and hopefully I will talk to you guys in the next video that I do. Take care.